हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज की वीडियो है रिगार्डिंग मैंसुरेशन और आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू फ्यू ऐसे आसनास जो कि बहुत ज़्यादा इजी है टू परफॉर्म इन पीरियड्स एंड दीज आर रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डू इन पीरियड्स आई टेल यू वाई डोंट गो एनी वेयर लेट्स स्टार्ट इट नाउ नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स आई एम विजेता योर योगा कोच वेलकम टू पिनाकी योगा सो so, हम सब लेडीज एट द टाइम ऑफ पीरियड्स कुछ ना कुछ डिस्कम्फर्ट एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं लाइक ब्लॉटिंग क्रैम्स पेन बैक पेन लैग पेन एंड इवन द इम्बेलेंसिंग ऑफ द ब्लड फ्लो सो हाउ योगा इज हेल्पफुल एंड वाई इज इट इम्पॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग पीरियड्स सो सी वी एक्सपीरियंस दिस क्रैम एंड पेन द पीरियड्स बिकॉज देयर इज लेस ब्लड फ्लो एंड लेस ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसफर in our uterine region in our pelvis region so if we going to perform yoga and we going to perform these asanas jo main aapko aaj batane wali hu so these asanas will provide a proper blood flow and a proper oxygen to your uterine region and to your pelvis region so this will again helpful to reduce your cramp your pain in the time of your period second important reason to perform yoga during periods is see ladies we are not men so our body changes every one our hormones changes every one and so do our mood swings so due to these discomfort these pain and these cramps it might be possible that your anxiety level might be increased and your cortisol level might spike due to your discomfort level so to control your mood swings and to reduce your cortisol level to reduce your anxiety level yoga is the best solution and yes we all are not same we all have different body we all have different structure and we all have our different intuitions so i am not telling you ki aap first day par hi sare asanas perform kare it's not necessary just listen to your body and if you are feeling comfortable to do any asan any basic asanas during your first day or second day just start performing these asanas from the first day or from the second day i know that there is lot of discomfort uh, during first day and second day so i would not suggest you that uh, aap apne body ke intuition ke against ja kar ke yoga asanas perform kare if you are feeling lot of blood flow lot of cramps and lot of body pain just avoid yoga or avoid any training program during first day or second day start performing it from the third day but if you are comfortable at least start performing these basic yoga asanas from the second day of your periods these are going to be really very helpful to reduce your cramps your body pain and to provide the regularity in your periods and the balancing of your blood flow next important thing that we should take care during our periods is the proper intake of water and the proper food consumption yes we need proper intake of water because that will again reduce our cramps and will again help in the balancing of our blood flow and we need food obviously because our uterine muscles and pelvic muscles need lot of energy so yes we need to provide a good food diet to our body few things that we need to avoid during periods is uh, we not going to perform any extreme or advanced yoga posture कोई भी ऐसा आसन या कोई भी ऐसा ऐसी एक्सरसाइज जो आपके पेलिस रीजन पे या यूट्रस रीजन पे जरूरत से ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस प्रोवाइड करे डू नॉट परफॉर्म दैट एक्सरसाइज और राइट सेकेंड थिंग इज वी नॉट गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एनी इन्वर्जन उसके दो मेन रीजन है दैट इज फर्स्ट रीजन इज इफ यू गोइंग टू इन्वर्ट योर बॉडी देन योर यूट्रस विल फुल टूवर्ड्स योर हेड जिसकी वजह से जो हमारे मेजर लिगमेंट्स हैं उनके स्ट्रेच होने के चांसेस हैं विच इज़ नॉट गुड सेकेंड थिंग इज इफ वी आर परफॉर्मिंग इन वर्जन ड्यूरिंग पीरियड्स इज दैट कुछ आर्टरीज हमारी ब्लड पम्पिंग के लिए ऑलरेडी ओपन रह जाती है ड्यू टू इन वर्जन विच इज अगेन नॉट गुड यू कैन एक्सपीरियंस अ ह्यूज एंड हैवी ब्लड फ्लो ड्यू टू दीज एडवांस पोस्चर्स एंड ड्यू टू एनी एक्सट्रीम लेवल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सो येस वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड प्रॉपर रेस्ट एंड प्रॉपर न्यूट्रीशन टू आर बॉडी एट द टाइम ऑफ आर पीरियड्स बिकॉज मसल स्पेजम इज ऑलरेडी देयर सो डू नॉट परफॉर्म एनी एक्सट्रीम और एडवांस योगा पोस्चर ड्यूरिंग योर फर्स्ट और सेकेंड डे एंड ट्राई दीज बेसिक योगा आसनास दैट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू टूडे लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ सिट ऑन योर नीज स्ट्रेचिंग योर लोअर लेग्स बैकवर्ड 
and keeping them together. Your big toes and heels should be as closely held as possible. Do not make a arc in your back. Keep your back completely straight. Keep your spine completely straight and normal and relax. Kneel down on the floor and sit on your heels. Slowly separate your knees. Now slowly exhale and come down on the floor. Touch your head completely to the floor. Keep your arms completely in forward direction. Slowly inhale and come back. Sit in Dandasana. Keep your back completely straight and normal. Slowly bend your right knee and cross your right feet over left knee. Take your left hand and your left elbow cross it over the right knee. Your right hand completely behind your body and look backward. Keep your chin and your right shoulder in the same level. Repeat this pose from the other side. Slowly release and come back to Dandasana. Sit in Vajrasana and slowly move to tabletop position. Your palms should be completely under your shoulders and your knees under your butts. Now slowly inhale, look upward and make an arc in your back. While exhaling, squeeze your abdominal muscle and make a curve. Again inhale, make an arc in your back. Fold your spine while exhaling and squeeze your muscles. Repeat this five times. Slowly release and come to child pose and relax. Lie down in Shavasana. Slowly bend your left knee. Now try to touch your nose to your left knee. Inhale and while exhaling, touch your nose to your left knee. Slowly release. Do not hold your breath. Repeat this three to five times. Again while exhaling, try to touch your nose to your knee. Repeat the same thing to the other side. Bend your right knee and while exhaling, lift your head up and try to touch your nose to your left knee. Again, do it as slowly as possible. Stay aware to your body. Do not squeeze your abdominal muscles much. Slowly relax. You can take the help of the pillows for the cushioning of your back. Slowly join your heels while separating your knees completely. Now slowly lie down and rest your back completely on the pillows. Keep your palms on your thighs. Breathe slowly. Stay aware to your breath. Do abdominal breathing. Slowly relax and come back in sitting position. You can also perform some simple pranayama like Anulom Vilom and Brahmari. Do not perform Bhastrika and Kapalbhati. And also do not perform any bandha like Udhyana bandha because it will again increase the temperature and it will again work against your body. So do not perform any bandha. I already explained this thing in the in my previous video of Udhyana bandha. So do not perform any bandha and do not perform Bhastrika and Kapalbhati during periods. It will again stress your uterine muscles, again stress your uterus and pelvis region which is not good for your body and your peers. Hope you guys like the content and the video. If you guys like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Pinaki Yoga. Share this video to your friends and family. I'll meet you soon in the next one. Till then, take care and stay fit.